<sighs> the last video, I forgot my name. God <laughs> dang, I'm getting old. This is the new caribou, the Honorable Sir David, Emperor of Salt Lake City, Sultan of Utah, spiritual advisor to questioning Mormons, the Bard Extraordinaire, Supreme Being, Alpha and Omega. Just pretend I did it last video. <laughs> Oh, God. Anyway, I love getting old. I love getting old. Um, I wanted to share with you uh, another uh, segment of my life. Since I'm the bard, I just tell stories, okay? Whether they're true or not <laughs> makes no difference. <laughs> no one can verify them. I'm too old. The records have been destroyed. Well, anyway, I used to work construction. Light man, bring me down. Just a, uh, There, there. Light man. Good. I used to work construction uh, when I was younger, and um, I was a glazer, which is a glass man. I put glass in high-rise uh, um, commercial buildings and houses and build uh, the uh, entrances of the doors of, of uh, big stores. Anyway, um, I never went <laughs> to school to be a tradesman. I never did. Uh, I just saw a guy once uh, cut a piece of glass, and I went into a glass company, and I said, you know, I'd like to be a glazer, and they said, well, do you know what you're doing? And I said, hell yes. <laughs> I've been to school for years. <laughs> they said, well, let us see you cut a piece of glass. And i would never cut a piece of glass in my life, and in those days, I was a Mormon, and I go, Jesus. <laughs> and I said to him, Jesus, do you want to see me cut a piece of glass? No problem. So I knew my my employment was on the line. Well, I took the glass cutter, took a piece of DS, uh, double strength glass, and just uh, scored it and broke it. He said, hey, that's good enough. I, it's good enough for me, too. What would you like me to do for the rest of the day? So that's how I learned uh, to be a glazer uh, a day at a time. And uh, a lot of kind guys and people that took me a little bit under their wing. <laughs> more like under their butts <laughs> and and taught me so <clears throat> I had a couple of good jobs uh, I used to work on Wilshire Boulevard down in Los Angeles and we would get on a high-rise and be there for five six months putting uh, metal and glass in the building well this time I got a job um, in uh, San Luis Obispo oh, I can't remember what the name of the college is up there but anyway um, I was hurting for money. I had a family. I, I had six or seven, eight kids. I never had eight in the house. I think I had six, seven at one time. <laughs> the, the house was so small, the others just stood in the garage, and we'd throw food under the garage door. <laughs> Shit. I, I had so many kids, um, I finally figured out where they were coming from. <laughs> My wife, and I divorced her ass. <laughs> so anyway, I, I got this job putting in a glass. We were a crew. Uh, I don't know, there might have been 10, 15 of us in the uh, San Luis Obispo College. And I was living in a trailer, a little um, camp trailer up in San Luis Obispo uh, with some friends who had this trailer out in their front yard. And so I would get up every morning and um, I didn't uh, know how to ride the bus. <laughs> I don't think there was a bus. Well, there must have been a bus that went up to the college. but. Being an American, I have to have my own wheels. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it was a moped <laughs> in those days. And even today, I have no pride. <laughs> I thought it was a cool moped. <laughs> and I was young and buff, and I thought, hey, hey, I'll, I'll see the girls. And they'll go for Harley? Suck the Harleys. This is the moped man. <laughs> so I was uh, on my way to work one day, and we had this hill that I had to go down. Now, you know a moped is only going to go about 30 um, on flat, and that's if you put your head down <laughs> like it's a crotch rocket <laughs> with no wind and paint yourself <laughs> with grease so the wind comes off of you quickly. Well, I was going down this hill, and damn, I, I was hitting hot, uh, hot top speed. I was at 35, maybe 40. Uh, 40 when the wind's behind you and it blows. Well, I didn't even see this. I didn't even see this, and of course, I didn't expect it. But this black dog, I was in the right-hand lane, and this black dog came running out of the bushes, and all I saw <laughs> was a tunnel of white light. 
he went in front of the motor and behind the front wheel and I went down 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 now um, there's a saying I used to ride bikes a little bit I was never a biker because I was scared of tattoos <laughs> they hurt there's only two kinds of bikers those that have been down and those that are going down and and this was my going down well last thing I remember was that damn dog and I still see him in my mind kill the thing if I could find it and uh, the cement coming up at my head well I don't remember much until I woke up in the emergency room <laughs> and I was in California San Luis California San Luis Obispo and uh, the doctor he said uh, Mr. Bard <laughs> do you know where you are and I said well I don't have a whole bunch of 14 year olds around me so I don't think I'm in heaven yet <laughs> where's Joseph <laughs> he says what state are you in and I said well I'm not sure uh, it could be Oklahoma it could be Massachusetts and he turned to my buddies who had showed up because I didn't show up to work they came looking for me and uh, they were starting to laugh and I said well uh, who are those people <laughs> I've been with him for years. And I didn't recognize him. I didn't know where the hell I was. And he said, well, we're going to admit you. And I said, well, I've got to be to work. I know that. Uh, I don't know what state I'm in. <laughs> and I don't know who these guys are, but I'm going with them. He said, well, that's against uh, medical uh, advice. And I said, really? I've been against medical advice <laughs> my whole life. So <laughs> get in line. <laughs> get in line. So I had to sign a paper. Uh, and I just signed it, the bard extraordinaire. <laughs> so he let me out. I, I could hardly stand up. I, I was like uh, in a daze, in a total daze. And the guy said, hey, do you want us to take you to work? And I said, well, where, where's the moped? <laughs> and they said, damn. It was a good moped, but it wasn't after the dog got a hold of it. And I said, well, you know, is it all right? And they go, <laughs> No, said <laughs> neither are you. Mr. Moped went to the funeral house. Like, oh shit. So now I had to, you know, find another way to get to work. Well, anyway, I rode with them to work, and um, we were putting windows in on the ground floor. So I was standing on the ground. Usually, I'm on scaffold or on uh, on the inside of the building with a, a lanyard cabled to the cable. Well, anyway, I'm standing on the ground floor, and they left me there. And I'd been there for months, uh, and I knew what I was doing. <laughs> sure I did. They left me for like an hour or two, and I should have had a window in by then. And they came around, and I did. Damn, that, that motorcycle thing is crap. <laughs> it was nothing. <laughs> and they looked at me and said, Do you see anything wrong with that window? I said, Hell no, I don't see anything wrong with it and they go open it <laughs> when you take the window and you pull it down you're supposed to open it well my window you grabbed it at the bottom and you opened it upside down I said this is a special window this is the bipolar window bipolar people will love this window <laughs> the contractor won't I oh shit so I had to, they said listen uh, I don't think you're with it today and I says what makes you think that <laughs> the upside down window if the super sees it you'll be gone I, I don't want to be gone I need the monies and we know so they propped me against the wall put a tool belt on me and just said now hold that hammer there for the day and when he comes by you'll just look like you're working I said okay so they propped me against the wall and there I stood all day uh, working so uh, that's my moped story the bastards <laughs> that dog I should have made the the owner pay but I was in the hospital now on the on the on the job you know we have a sense of humor in construction um, <laughs> I shouldn't say this, <clears throat> but you young people, I have a few 13-year-olds uh, that watch me. The 14-year-olds, they're not interested. How Joseph, I, maybe being a prophet, they would be. But anyway, in construction, we always had a few uh, funny sayings. I thought they were funny. Um, one was uh, when you're trying to measure something and you're lifting something up and there's two or three guys above you and you don't have it high enough, and he says, uh, bring it up a hair. The bottom guys would say, 
Is that a brown hair or a red hair? Red hair. Well, that was thicker, so we brought it up higher. <laughs> that was construction measurement. You know, I'm sure that they taught that uh, as an apprentice, but I missed that class. Oh, God, what is this? Norton coming up here. Get away, Norton. Uh, geez. Anyway, they're probably censoring me of red hair or brown hair. Anyway, we had a lot of fun in construction. We had this one guy, and uh, we were working on the Ventura County Jail. Now, that was a bitching job. We, I got a lot of money on that one because uh, we were union. And, oh, my God, they paid us a lot of money every day. And we had this one character, and he knew less about uh, being a glazer than I did. His father, like, owned the company, you know what I mean? And he was just a pretty boy and uh, always screwing around. And he was joking always because he didn't know what he was doing. And we put up with him because we had to. It was the boss's son. So um, one day we were working on the cells in the jail. And we were putting windows on the outside, and the guys came in uh, to test the windows, and they were taking lead pipes and banging the windows, and they wouldn't break. So they wanted to make sure it was secure. Well, our little friend was in the jail cell, and um, he was always screwing around, always screwing around. So he climbed up into the vent. There was no ceiling in yet. <laughs> so he climbs up into the vent and says, this is how they get out. And he nearly got stuck in the vent. He nearly got stuck in the vent. But he came down, and we go, ha, ha, that's funny. And he says, well, I want you to see what I look like behind bars. So he closes the damn door. Now, I thought it was funny because he looked funny behind bars. And then he went to open the door. <laughs> the keys had not been made for the doors yet. <laughs> it was in Wisconsin. They were making the keys. Well, this poor guy, he's now in the Ventura County Jail, and we're slipping him food <laughs> through the cracks. <laughs> and he thinks that we've done something. We didn't do anything. The, the keys had not been made. So they had to rush FedEx out to Wisconsin and uh, make a special key uh, to get him out of the cell. Well, we tortured him while he was in there, <laughs> threw shit at him. <laughs> he couldn't run away. And, and just tortured the guy. And we thought that was funny. We thought that was pretty funny. Well, he comes out, and uh, we thought he was just going to be, uh, you know, a crazy person. But he wasn't. He was pretty funny, too. And he just took it in stride a night in jail. So anyway, um, in construction, we always changed our boots. We came in in tennis shoes, and we had a dressing area there. And uh, we would put our boots on and then work all day. We had to have steel-toed uh, boots because if you kick somebody's ass, it went better. <laughs> so anyway, we came back one night, about a night or two after the jail, to change into our um, uh, boots. I mean, we came in in the morning to change our boots. And so um, he had already been there. He never shows up early, but he, he was already there. We thought that was a little strange. Now, I don't know if any of you, especially my women uh, people, uh, you, I don't know if you know what a hilti is. A hilti is like a big drill, but it has a 22 shell in it, and it has a pin, a nail, in th th the gun, and you put a shell in it, and you pull the, you put it down on the cement, and you pull the trigger, and it's a, it's a gun. Bam! And it takes that nail, and it drives it right into the concrete with no question. Well, we went to put our boots on, <laughs> the bastard. They were all stuck to the floor. <laughs> we thought, how could they? We thought the guy had taken some glue or something and glued our boots to the, the floor. No, he took a hilti and he put a, 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 a washer down and then shot through the washer so it was this big holding our boots down. And every boot had two or three hilties in it. So we started chasing his ass around the building because in our tennis shoes because we couldn't get the uh, the damn uh, uh, boots on so we had to take chisels and crap and it ruined some of our boots but anyway um, we, we had some good times in construction and that day uh, we had to work on the outside of the building and uh, it was a ledge that went around the whole building and uh, we were working outside on the ledge and it uh, lunchtime uh, the rest of us went down a little bit early and uh, 
our, our, our friend was up on the, the ledge. I think it was only the second or third floor. And um, we took his ladder <laughs> off the ground. And I have no friends. I have no friends. But when I get on here, the Danites call me. Oh, my God. Hold on. Hello. Oh, hi, uh, Jason. Can I, um, can you call me back in just about four minutes? Okay, appreciate you. Thank you so much. Bye. The plumber. <laughs> anyway, we took his ladder down, and he couldn't get down for lunch. <laughs> we sat on the grass eating lunch. <laughs> He's on the ledge, and there's no door. There's only one way to get up there, a ladder. And you can't pound on the windows because they're soundproof, and there's no one else in there except the workers. And so he had to sit on the ledge uh, and watch us. So any of you young people that uh, are thinking of a construction job. It is a blast. It, it is a fun job. Uh, but you do have to know something. Not much, <laughs> but a little bit. Thanks.